Are you still lifting the same weights you did a few months ago? If so, you could be making a huge mistake. Studies show that up to 70% of people are not challenging themselves enough to see real progress. If you're not seeing gains, it might be time for a change. So stick around and I'm gonna explain how and when to up the weight. If you haven't seen my face before, I'm Lockie, a third year at Oxford Brooks University studying my Bachelor's of Science degree for Sport and Exercise Science. And today we're going to be talking about one of the most important aspects when it comes to resistance training and that's knowing when to increase the weights. Whether you're lifting weights for muscle gain, fat loss or overall strength, regularly and consistently increasing the weights over time or progressive overload is really key to making progress. But here's the thing, most people don't know how or when to do it, leading to plateaus, frustration, and eventually burnout. By the end of this video, you'll know all of the signs to show when it's time to increase the weight, how to increase weight effectively, and I'll help you understand why it's such a crucial part of strength and muscle gain development. So now let's get into the problem, that is plateaus. That is the point in your training where you stop seeing progress. And people usually experience their first plateau after they've maxed out on their newbie gains. So usually six months to a year after training. So maybe you're not gaining muscle as fast as you used to, or your strength isn't increasing despite consistent training. And the reality is, if you've been lifting the same weights for months on end, your muscles will have adapted to that load, and that's a problem. Your muscles need to be challenged to grow, so when you're stuck lifting the same weight, your muscles aren't demanded to change, so they don't. This not only slows down your progress, but also massively kills your motivation, because you feel like you're putting in the hard work, but the results just aren't there. And this is where a lot of people give up. They think they've reached their max potential, so they either A, move on to steroids and anabolics, or B, they give up, but realistically, they just haven't been pushing themselves hard enough. According to a study in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, regular and calculated increases in weight are essential for muscle growth and strength development. So without progressive overload, your muscles will plateau and you'll see fewer improvements over time. So how do you actually know when to up the weight? Here are five key signs that you should watch out for. Number one is that your reps feel too easy. You can easily hit your targeted reps without feeling fatigue. So if you can easily hit your target reps without feeling fatigue, it's a clear sign you need to increase the weight. So lifting should feel challenging, especially in the last few reps. So if you're breezing through your sets, you're not challenging yourself and you're not doing enough weight. You should aim for a level of difficulty where the last rep feels tough, but only just doable. If you want to push it even further, you want to be getting your last few reps as partial reps and not full reps. So this study showed that increasing the weight when the reps feel too easy leads to greater strength gains over time. Now this one's a bit controversial, but the fact that you're not sore after your workout. Now, if you don't get sore after a workout, it doesn't necessarily mean the workout wasn't effective in eliciting hypertrophy or strength gains. However, if you aren't progressing and you're not feeling sore after a workout, it's probably good to try and get sore. So you should be adopting a way to train that means you think to yourself during this workout, I'm definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. Because if you're never feeling muscle fatigue or soreness, it probably means your muscles aren't being challenged hard enough. So delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS usually occurs after a workout when you're pushing your limits. So if you've never had that post-workout soreness, it's probably time to up the weights. Coming in at number three is you're not seeing an increase in strength or muscle gains. If you've been lifting the same weights or your muscle size hasn't increased, that's a clear indicator that you need to up the weight. Because like I said, your muscles will adapt and become stronger or bigger, depending on what you're aiming for, when they're being challenged enough and they're being forced to adapt. So if they're not being forced to adapt, these changes won't occur, meaning you're not lifting heavy enough. So whether your goal is to build muscle or increase strength, using the same weights will only maintain your current level. Because this study recommends a strategy of gradually increasing the weights continuously as a way to break through plateaus and to see continuous strength gains or muscle mass. So the next one's a bit nuanced, but your form is perfect and you're not struggling. By no means does perfect form mean the weight isn't high enough. That is not what I'm saying. But if you're not struggling with that perfect form, then clearly the weight's too light. You want to lift a weight that challenges your form but while staying safe. So if you're not breaking a sweat or straining on the last few reps, try increasing weight by five to 10%. And now finally, number five is you're not seeing changes in your physique. This is more specific to hypertrophic gains, but can also be applied to strength gains too. Because one of the best ways to gauge progress is to look in the mirror. Because if your body looks exactly the same after weeks or months of training, it's an obvious indicator that you need to increase the weight you're using. Lifting heavier weights forces your muscles to adapt grow and get stronger, which will ultimately lead to noticeable changes within your physique. So each of these signs is your body's way of telling you 
hey, it's probably time to increase the weight. This is too easy. So don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Obviously, increasing the weights can be intimidating at first, but it's the only way to keep progressing in size or strength. And here's where it all clicks. You're probably not pushing yourself enough. It's a hard thing to hear, but most people are not pushing themselves as hard as they can actually go in order to see progress in strength or muscle mass. Because most people underestimate the weight that they can lift with proper form and stick to weights they're comfortable with. But comfort doesn't build muscle. So if you do want to see increases in your strength or muscle mass, you need to step outside your comfort zone and pick weights that actually challenge you. In fact, this study showed that individuals who gradually increased their weight over time saw a significant strength and muscle mass increase compared to lifters who stick with the same weight. And it's not just about your physique, it's about your strength. If you're lifting heavier weights, you'll see more definition and more size in your muscles. So next time you're in the gym, grab a heavier set of dumbbells, stack on some more plates and push yourself. So let's quickly recap what we've covered in this video, because if you've been lifting for a while, it's probably time to reassess. Look out for signs like the reps feeling too easy, you're not getting sore, hitting a plateau, perfect form without a struggle and not seeing changes in your physique. These are all key indicators that show you should be increasing the weight to see progress. Remember, weightlifting is about continuously challenging your muscles, and that means stepping it up over time. So don't be afraid to push yourself. You'll be amazed how much bigger and stronger you get if you actually consistently progress properly. So now I want to hear from you. How often do you increase your weights, and what's been your biggest challenge when trying to level up in the gym? Drop a comment below and let me know. If you wanna see more science-backed informational videos like this, go to the description, and there's a great few popular ones in there Take a look, I'm sure you'll love them. And if you're not subscribed, which a vast majority of you are not, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a video. If you like this video in particular, be sure to smash a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.